Hello and welcome to a new series of video about digital technology. Well, digital technology is nowadays everywhere. Why? We are going to see. Yeah? First, we have to talk about what exactly differs analog from digital. Okay, that's the counterpart. Analog, digital. Yeah? Therefore, I've prepared two charts and I want to display one chart with analog and one chart with the digital digital representation. Well, in both charts we have here, uh, so here this, that's the measurement. It's here and here the same. And here we have a certain measurement range, this here. measurement range MR. It's the same here. Okay, so the measurement range is exactly the same in both variants. Okay, that's the measurement range. And on the other hand, we have a display where I have actually we have the result there. Okay. Display and we also have a display range. It's also in both cases the same. Okay. Here, this is the display range. Also here we have here we have this display range should also be the same. So we are mapping we are mapping the same measurement range to the same display range. Yeah? And the usual what we would expect the usual result would be this. Yeah? Now in analog. The analog world. This is analog. In the analog world, it the ideal analog world is really like this. Okay, so there is really one line. What does it mean if we have exactly one line? Let's say we have a measurement a measured value one, yeah, and this is resulting in exactly this. Displayed value one, yeah? and this displayed value one is resulting exactly this measured value. I have a bi unique relation. Yeah? If I have somewhere here a displayed value two, yeah? I know exactly this is this measured value two. There's a bi unique relationship. In our digital world, yeah, we are dividing our measurement range in sub-ranges. So we say there is one sub-range, yeah, there's another sub-range, there's another sub-range, there's another sub-range, and so on. And at the top we also have sub-ranges equally spaced. How many sub-ranges there are, we will discuss. Yeah, And we give each sub range. So this is a this is a sub range. And we give each sub range a number. So this is the sub range number zero. Okay. This is the sub range number one. This is two, this is three, and this is whatever n. This is n minus one. This is n minus two. Yeah. How much sub ranges I have. Yeah? What I actually do display, so this is digital. What I do display is the number, just the number, of the sub range the actual measured value is in. Yeah? So uh, my displayed value are steps here. This is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. 
in every sub-range we have a step. This means if I have somewhere a measured value 1, this will result in this split value 1. All right. So there is a unique relationship between the measured value and the displayed value. However, if I have this displayed value, displayed value 2, I cannot tell what is the measured value exactly. I only can tell, okay, it's in the measurement, it's the measurement range. The range to this one, yeah? This is the range n minus 1, n minus 2. Yeah? In this range, somewhere here, in this area, this displayed value is reflecting the measured value. All right? So this is the difference. Here we have steps. Yeah? Here we have a line. Actually, and this is already difficult in analog processing, we don't really have a line. We do have uh, an area. So it's not a thin line. It's more or less an area due to inaccuracies and so on. So the line is not a sharp, sharp, thin line. It's a thick area with likelihood and so on. So the, the result is a little bit blurry. Okay, so there is uncertainties and something like this. So this is an, on our analog side. In the digital side, okay, we maybe jump up and down one value, but it has not that much influence. Okay. So, uh, what are the up and down sides? The upsides of the analog world, uh, plus, is for sure the bionic translation. Yeah. So, that I can exactly tell what. Yeah. The downside here, Accuracy is expensive. Okay, this is what I mean. If I want to get this blurry line sharp, it's re getting really expensive. Yeah, here accuracy. Is expensive. Huh? And also the information transmission. Huh? If I want to get the information what I've measured from here to there, yeah, it's not that easy. Yeah, information transmission and processing is difficult. Okay. This is not that easy. Hmm? Here, digital technique on the plus side, yeah, we have cheap. Cheap. Yeah, it's not very expensive. Yeah. On the downside, yeah, we have, of course, this stepped, stepped result. That's a steep step result. However, a big, big, big advantage of this is that, you know, I have a number. Yeah? I have already a number. Numbers can be transferred easily, so the information transmission is no issue, and numbers can be calculated by computers. So, information can easily be accessed by computers. By computers or controllers, digital controllers. That's a big advantage. 
okay? Because I can calculate with the value. Here, calculation with analog values, that's not that easy. I need special electronics, you know, I need uh, operational amplifiers, I need uh, different... It works, but it's complicated. Huh? Here, this works. Huh? What with the stepped result? Well, I could increase the so-called resolution. Okay, so I could not make that amount of steps, but I could make twice as much steps. Okay, then I would have have the steps like that, yeah. double the resolution. Yeah. So this here means. Resolution can be extended, huh? can be expanded, extended, more resolution simply, it's more steps, okay? Simply add more steps. This can be done easily. This resolution, how is this, how is this uh, processed? Well, resolution is usually given in bits, yeah? One bit means I have two areas. This is not very. I have the have the area zero and I have the area one. Yeah, so I have two areas. Yeah? Two such sub ranges. Yeah? Two bit. I have four sub ranges. Yeah? Three bit. I have eight sub ranges. Yeah, four bit. I have sixteen sub ranges, so always double. Here, this is two raised by the power of one. This is two raised by the power of two. This is two raised by the power of three. This is two raised by the power of four, and so on. Yeah. So this is this is the number of sub ranges. Yeah. This here and also this here. This is given by the resolution. This is what we call resolution in how many steps we are dividing our measurement range. Okay, this is given in bit. Yeah. Why is it given in bit? This is something to do with the so called binary numbering system. Yeah. This is reflecting the binary numbering system. Yeah. This is the base of this. Yeah. Uh, why or how a numbering system is working? Yeah. I'm going to explain in the next videos. Yeah. For now, it's just for us to know, okay, digital means apply a number to a value and there is an infinite number and infinite number of, of, of numbers of course not infinite number here this would be like it's infinite number yeah analog world but here we have a finite number of a count of numbers and the amount how many numbers we can apply how many sub ranges is given in bit and this bits two raised by the power of whatever yeah, bit resolution gives the count of sub ranges yeah, and in the next video we're discussing numbering systems. There we are also going to discuss our usual decimal number numbering system. Based on that, we will extend our knowledge to the binary numbering system. Yeah. Next time, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.